Hello and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm actually going to do my very most favorite thing today and I'm bringing you along with me. We are going thrifting. I need to get out of the house. I feel cooped up. I feel like I've been work, work, work all week long on my computer. And after last weekend being such a thrill of just back to back amazing fun things, this weekend, it's a little slower than that, <laughs> not so much going on. I was supposed to go see a movie. Now there's like no spots open, which is probably a blessing in disguise because for me, a packed movie theater sounds like a panic attack to me. And that's kind of hard when you have friends that are trying to do stuff with you and you're somebody who deals with panic disorder, anxiety, and crowds. I have to usually go do those types of things when it's not chaotic, but I do want to get on the Barbie train just a little bit. I'm gonna do it in my own way, which is usually a little bit rebellious. I didn't even really like Barbie that much when I was a kid. I was the girl who was like, I'd rather play with pound puppies, my little ponies, rainbow bright. Barbie was too perfect and I, I didn't I didn't like the perfection and the pressure of that. And I hear the movie is really good. I mean, I'm, I'm getting mixed actually reviews, but most, most people are saying it was really good. The costuming and everything is why I would go watch it. Anyway, I did do Barbie nails finally figure out how to do these press on nails and paint them and do designs on them. I've figured out how. And it's not gonna be for everybody because it takes a lot of patience, kind of a little bit of like being okay or decent at illustrations and drawing, even though I'm not, I don't think they're that good, but they're not bad either. I mean, look at this bow. Isn't that just so cute? I did that, I hand painted that. So basically what I'm doing is that I'm hand painting designs onto nails. That's what I've been doing. Um, and I, well, I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I got for that. But the very first thing that I wanted to talk about, the most important thing I wanna talk about is how this video is actually sponsored by Honey Love. You guys know I love Honey Love. I've worked with them before. They're my favorite shapewear brand and they also have started to venture into other types of garments, not just shapewear. And I have on one of them. They have leisure wear now. My eyes lit up when I saw that. I wear either a Moo Moo, if I'm feeling like I really wanna swim around and glide around, or these shorts and camisets because they just move really nicely with my body. And so when I saw that their leisure wear section had the Bliss Wear cami and short set, sign me up, sign me up. The thing I love about this is that the mesh little detail on it really gives you a little bit more of a sexier, I would say, feel. It's got that little see-through peekaboo side. It just, I don't know, it has a little bit more thoughtfulness into the design of it. Straps are adjustable, which is great because over time I feel like my straps start to get really weak because I toss and turn like a lunatic. And then the main, main thing that I love love, 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 that my other ones don't have. It's got a built-in bra, like a, a built-in shelf that helps hold you in, gives you a second layer of protection. It's really cozy. It comes in three different colors. There's another one called Glacier. It's this like icy blue color. There's white and the navy blue as well. And I need every single one of them because I would sleep in these every single night. Yeah, so this is really great. And then the main thing that I wanted to talk about really quickly is also the low back bodysuit. Look at how this shapes me and makes me look. If you have an occasion coming up where you need the back to be really low in a dress or whatever, this thing is so good. The bra is completely built in. There's no underwire whatsoever. It has that crisscross kind of compression across the stomach area. So it smooths that area down. If you feel like you're gonna be eating or you're gonna feel bloated, it's comfortable and moves with you. So you don't feel like super restricted. I really like how everything has a lot of movement with your body and is really comfortable to wear. I love the shorts, the mesh kind of sheer shorts. Those are really soft. They don't ride up. So it does have the little gusset in the bottom in case you need to use the restroom. Also, I put on that dress that I thrifted, if you guys remember, I got that last summer. It's this really beautiful black cover dress that has a really low back to it. And so far I haven't really found the right thing to wear underneath it because it's completely see-through. So I was like, well, I guess I'll just wear like shorts and maybe a camisole, but you could see the camisole. So you, it never really showed how beautiful that back on that dress is. It was literally the most perfect thing to wear underneath it because it was 
shorts and covered me. It was this perfect like shaped bodysuit basically underneath this flowy dress. And they also have the bodysuit in a nude tone. So if you are doing something bridal and you do wanna have something that shapes you and smooths you and you have a low back to your bridal dress, you can definitely wear this underneath it. So yeah, I just wanted to share those things with you that I got sent. I really love them a lot. And knowing now that Honey Love also does loungewear, which is just so good. It's just such good quality, such good quality. So I really love it. If you guys want to shop any of the things that I've talked about, I'll have all of the information in the description box below, any codes or anything like that, links to everything that you need down in the description. Let's get this video going. I wanna show you some cool stuff I'm doing with my nails and I wanna go thrifting. We gotta go thrifting, we gotta get out of this house. So here are the nails that I painted. As you can see, I did a little Barbie. I tried to paint Barbie on it. I'm really proud of how the little starburst, like the retro looking starburst turned out. It's so tiny. I really don't know if my camera will even be able to focus on it. And then I just kind of did some random designs. I did bows so that each finger has a bow. I've just mixed them all up, but I had a couple that I just left pink. I did this really cool kind of brush stroke design on a couple of them, polka dots. So it was really fun. I just kind of got creative with painting them, but I, I think I want to do this more as just a craft or something to relax me because I really enjoy just kind of zoning out and painting. It's really fun. It's like an art project. Uh, let me show you, even though I already just did like an overlay of it, but this is just what it looks like in person just you know how I look in the mornings <laughs> my crew socks I have so many of these you guys you have no idea and then this lovely matching set I love this detail I love it because you can kind of see the bralette like poking out from underneath uh yes we have a dog grooming table <laughs> in our living room right now we're actually going to consider learning how to do it ourselves, but we did buy this because our groomer is gonna come to the house tomorrow, we think. She hasn't messaged us for our information on how to get here, so I'm wondering why. Does that mean that she forgot about the appointment? I'm not really too sure, but we are going to attempt to possibly groom the dogs ourselves, and we're gonna set this up in the garage. Yeah, there's that. Let me show you the nail stuff. So here's the little stands that I've been using to do the nails on. I bought a couple more, so I can do a few at a time. This one came with way more of the putty that holds the nail onto the stand, and then I also so got some really nice pinstriping style brushes. They're super skinny. And then they have the jewel picker upper on the bottom. And then an entire kit of UV light gel. So I put that on, put it in here. I don't even have to have my hands in the UV light. I just put it in here and it does it all right there on the stand. So it stops my nails from having to get UV light on it as much. And then, yeah, look at all these colors. And the gel's really nice. It hardens really well. It's just super shiny. It's great. So yeah, I'll link all this stuff below if anybody's interested in wanting to do this themselves. But I've been having a fun time. It's been really fun changed really quickly. I have on that adorable little flower dress that I thrifted. It's like black jean, but I want to go to the thrift store to see if I can find pink Barbie outfit because I want to make that cotton candy non-alcoholic cocktail that I was sent from Joyous. Did I talk about that last week at all? I can't remember chaos, but <laughs> I want to make the cotton candy cocktail. So we're going to do that. And this is really what I enjoy to do. You guys, I love thrifting and sharing this adventure with you and just sharing with you the stuff that I decide to share on my blog. So it's really where this channel has been heading. If you haven't noticed, it's like whatever blog content I'm posting that week, that's what we're talking about and how I come to create these like funny photos. Hey, we are at the thrift store. Operation find something fun and pink to take a photo in that will match my Barbie nails. <laughs> Don't forget when you come to Value Village to bring a few articles of clothing or something to donate in their bin in the front. I don't know if every Value Village does this, but ours certainly does. It gets you 20% off. I just keep a bag now in the trunk of my car. As much as I thrift, I also purge just as much. But yeah, keeping this bag in the trunk of my car has been the smartest thing I've ever thought of because now I'm always getting 20% off. It's great. So I was really looking for an 80s, 90s style kind of tacky, wild dress, and there was tons of pink dresses. It was just a matter of finding the right one. I thought about upcycling this one and adding some ribbon to it, but it overall just looked too summery. 
This one was really 80s. I actually really liked it. I felt like it was a little long, but it would have worked. It was also too small. This one was fabulous. It's this red dress. It has some cool satin detail in the front, but it was red. I wanted pink. I just wanted to show you guys a couple of things I found in the plate section because look how cute these are. Can't you just imagine apple pie? Oh my gosh. And then this. I love this little strawberry tea set. I don't need it, so I didn't get it, but I did love it. I did end up, there's like this really amazing Mexican restaurant right across from the thrift store. This place puts Taco Bell to shame. There is no comparison to Taco Bell and drive through Taqueria El Sabor. Prove me wrong. Just as I had suspected, I housed that down so fast and now I feel sick. Just full, I'm full. <laughs> so, trying on clothes <sighs> might not be the best, but I am going to do it. I wanna show you guys what I got. Uh, we gotta try the Barbie dress first. I'm gonna start off strong. <laughs> Can you believe this dress? Okay, it's too big. But look at how perfect. It is the perfect Barbie dress. It's hot pink, strapless. It's got like this satin kind of vibe to it. It has rhine frickin' stones. I'm so not a rhinestone girl, but for this dress, I would be. The only thing is, is I'm, for a photo, I'm going to have to pin it in the back so that it stays on my body because right now it wants to fall off my body. <laughs> it doesn't fit me, but I can make it work. And it was like seven bucks. It was so cheap. How much was it? Oh my God, it was $5.99. <laughs> this dress was so cheap. Five, it's a $5 Barbie dress. I love, love, love it. I would get this, I would actually get this professionally altered to fit me because it's that fabulous. It's just such a like 90s gem. You know what I mean? This dress speaks to the granny in me like you wouldn't believe. Look at, it has little flower bouquets all over it and it's lace. For some reason, this dress was expensive. It was like $11. I'm not really sure why this was so much more. The people who price these things sometimes go off of their own taste. So this one lady was like, that's so precious and cute. And then she slaps a higher price tag on it because I don't understand it. Oh, here's a treasure. You'll want that, won't you, my dear? Yes, go on, put it on, make yourself up. And here's dear old Flopsy. You'll want her right there you go. I like it. I think it'd be cute with a harness and some boots. That's the answer for me to everything. Just throw a harness and some cowboy boots on and it'll be cute. Here is a dress that does show off my burrito belly, my chimichanga belly. <laughs> but how cute is this? Look at this bow. It has a huge bow at the top. It's very retro, very vintage. I don't have a bra on right now because I was wearing that halter top underneath that dress. This is really cute though. I feel like this is my color. Anytime I put on royal blue, I tend to go, oh yeah, I like that color on me. It fits really well. You know what? This would look really good if I had my shapewear on underneath just to smooth this little area out. That would just make me feel a little bit better. So I feel like the shapewear would look amazing <laughs> with this dress. Prime example. This was a wild card. It really was just a wild card dress. I, I couldn't tell if I was going to love it or hate it, but I had to know. And oh my goodness, I love this dress so much. It's so soft and comfortable. It's really well made. I don't know what the brand is. It doesn't have a brand name on it. It almost feels like it could be handmade. It's just really special. It's really unique. It's gaudy as all get out. And I love that. It has pockets, you guys, pockets little puff sleeves. I love that. <laughs> it's so gaudy, but it's gaudy in the right way. Sometimes I feel like gaudy embellishments and rhinestones and things like that, they can go one of two ways and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I feel like with this dress, this works. This dress is gonna get an entire Instagram styling post on its own. This deserves its mo own moment because it's that special. Okay, so I'm gonna go do my hair in some sort of Bob Barbie fashion. I was thinking I would do like the ponytail that she has. So I'm gonna see if I can pull that off. I know there's a lot of different ways to do that like high pony by doubling up the ponytail. So I'm gonna give it a try and then I'll report back. are on <laughs> they look great I have the dress on I've got it like cinched with a bow and I was thinking with the makeup when I think of Barbie makeup I always imagine her having like 
bright blue eyeshadow. This Morphe one has a very Barbie blue in here, but these don't tend to show up very bright. See, it just doesn't show up. I'm thinking is I can mix the Meron mixing liquid just like that. So we have some of the, now that it's got a little mixing liquid with it. To me looks like a Barbie <laughs> eye for sure. I feel like hers was always kind of rounded, wasn't it? On the edge it kind of went like up like that and around. Oh my god, do you remember when Candy Johnson turned herself into Barbie in 2014? That was like such a huge thing in makeup back then because that was like she was one of the original like makeup YouTubers. And I remember thinking, wow, I want to do YouTube. But Candy Johnson, she was always so talented. So there's like kind of a Barbie look. What I might need to do now that I've laid down like a base, it's a little bit more liquid, is just pack some of the powder with my finger on top of it just to make it kind of like pop a little bit. But at least I got a nice base down. This would be a lot easier if I just had P. Louise cream base or you know who makes really good base high color liquids is this brand. It's called About Face. That there is a blue Barbie eye from the 90s. <laughs> this excites me. Okay, do I wanna do you know what, black in the crease might be kind of cool. So, we're gonna do it. Now we're going to take the Anastasia lipstick palette. We're going to take this right here, white bit of lipstick. Oh, there's that. making our custom peak. That lip color is actually really fun. When in doubt, don't forget to just lean this on its side and guide it. If you go in straight like this, and try to draw a straight line and you tend to uh, get a little shaky or jolt or twitch like I do, lay it on its side. You'll have a little bit more balance. It is nice to have this back. I haven't been using the Epic Ink Liner by NYX in a while because I had other ones that I was getting and random makeup subscriptions or just had on hand or extra. And I just miss the way that this applies. The Epic Ink Liner to me is the number one best liquid liner on the market. Prestige to drugstore. I've tried so many by so many brands that are expensive and they've not compared. So if you're looking for an affordable liquid liner that makes the most beautiful cat eye, that's the shit. It's the best. Let's see how a full lash looks. Whoa, that's a huge ass lash. Wow. Okay. That definitely needs trimmed. <laughs> is the Barbie transformation happening? You know what's funny is the showtime for when we were supposed to be, we were, it, we're supposed to be in the theater right now watching it, right now. And I'm still getting ready. My day has gotten away from me and we didn't reserve the tickets in time. And I hate packed theaters, so it just wasn't in the cards. I cannot do a packed movie theater. I just can't. Okay, I'm actually going to doll myself up a little bit more here and spruce up my makeup and I'll be right back. See, I, I look so much better with bangs. See how no bangs don't work for me? How do I look? I look so 80s. I, it's just really hard to wear stuff like this and not feel 80s. I mean, the whole Barbie look to me in my head, I think stuck in my head 
is like an 80s or 90s style Barbie. Hopefully I can make it look updated, but the transformation is complete. I can't believe I thrifted this dress for $5. I have it secured in the back so it's a little tighter around the waist area. I had first like tied it off with a bow, but that wasn't working. I love this dress enough to have it altered. I really do. I would go have this dress altered to fit my body because don't know what it is about it, but I love it. I absolutely love it. It just, it excites me, you know? And there's a certain point in your life where you dress in things that bring you joy and excite you. And this does it. What are you looking for there, bud? <laughs> this ball stuck on that weird thing. I've never used this person to photo shoot and I've had this thing for probably like, 20 years, something like this. A little vintage, adorable beaded purse. Let's go make a delicious cotton candy cocktail. Okay, so here is the drink, the cotton candy cocktail with a bottle of Joyous, non-alcoholic sparkling rosé, and a tablespoon of cotton candy. I wonder how long it'll take the cotton candy to melt into it, because I am charging my camera battery, and I still need to be able to make it out the door to take a photo. Maybe we'll experiment with blue first. This is gonna be my husband's. Um, and I also need to kind of mess, mess around with the recipe and like what I'm doing here because I don't know if it's just gonna be joyous and cotton candy. I was kind of thinking, spruce it up, maybe a sugar rim. A little bit of the agave around the rim. On just one side. Just something to make it stick. It's perfect. A little bit of a sugary rim. It looks like salt, but it's sugar. That's just resting it on the side. That's cool because then it slowly dissolves into the drink. I actually kind of like that. So th I think it's going to last in my photo. Cheers to a little sip of this delicious drink. That is so good. It tastes just like rosé. I love that. <laughs> this is a really cute party favor. If you were having some sort of like fun festive celebration, whether it's like a batch, ooh, the purple's good. Like a bachelorette, bridal. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> nice. All right. Definitely not as used to having a camera in his face as I am. I think a piece of cotton candy just went down my Decollete. Cheers! We have completed today's fabulous goal of turning ourselves into a Barbie doll by thrifting for the perfect pink outfit and doing a fun makeup look. Ta da! <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Fun. I feel like it turned out so good. I just got a peek at the photos. I haven't edited them yet. If anybody's wondering, I usually just put the photos in Lightroom and just start messing around with them. All evening, is, that's what I want to do. I just want to sit with the photos, edit them on Lightroom, and do a little blog post tribute to this fun day. So yeah, if you're looking for some sort of Barbie theme party to throw with your friends, if you're gonna go see the movie, if you don't give a crap about it, whatever, and you're just throwing a pink party because you have bachelorette stuff happening or a bridal shower or even a baby shower, <laughs> this would be a fun theme is just have this like pink moment. Pink is not always my thing, but lately I've really been embracing it and I feel like I look okay in pink actually. This is, this is, I love this dress so much. I love it so much. This eyeshadow with this lipstick, I hope it's not MIT, it probably is. It's giving full blown Barbie. I'm here for it, I love it. Cheers to that. Thank you so much to Joyous for sending me this lovely bottle of rose so that I can try a fun 
summertime cocktail to help continue celebrating the sober summer campaign they have going on this summer. So if you don't follow Joyous already on Instagram, go follow them. Thank you so much also to Honey Love for sponsoring this video. Please do go check out the amazing low back bodysuit that I've posted and have the whole blog post on my website. So go look at that if you want to see just the photos of the fit because I got some really good close up photos of how the fit is around the waist. I'm blown away by how it makes my butt look. I mean, that is like, it's another level ass. <laughs> when I have that bodysuit on. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not and hit the bell if you want to get notified every time I upload, which is weekly if I can. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Whatever it is. Bye!